back YouTube to be day number 189. Today's beer I've got from the Murray's Craft Brewery and it's their Wild Thing Imperial Stout. Now it's a limited release, they only release it, it comes uh, out in June or July. So it comes out once a year, I don't know if, if it's just, they might name it different things each year but um, I didn't know that until one of me. I think it was my uncle, sent me a photo, he said try this, but I already, I already had bought it. It's 10% alcohol, it's, um, what, what have we got here? 10% alcohol, I think it's 2.8 standard drinks, if I remember. 2.6 standard drinks. The lo local mob, and down the bottom of it's got, it's not for everybody, so. Yeah, but I'll read a bit about it. Um, wild by name, wild by nature. Black from head to toe with the dominant hints of strong dark chocolate, which I like. A little rummy fruitiness, another positive. Aggressive hot bitterness matched to a rounded silky body and mouth fill wild thing. Imperial stout feast with all the senses. Perfect with dark chocolate. Sounds fucking nice, right? Great for a stout, we're in the middle of a winter here in Australia, so I'll give it a crack, so yeah. You can only pick it up in June or July or you know if it's left over, so that's the only time they release it. There's, I should go and get the other three beers or four beers of the stout that they only release. I'll have to go do that before they run out. And the other two are on tap, but I couldn't be bothered driving up there. But whew. Definitely real nice and sweet. Get a slight bit of like the the, the rum rumness out of it. Um, even nice chocolate smell coming as well. Oh, this is smelling all right. I've got to drink this. I've got to have a sip. Um, straight up very very milky you can actually taste it it's nice and thick beautiful aftertaste that nice dark chocolate rum flavor straight up in the middle big bang bold bitterness but it leaves you with a very very beautiful um, mouth feel Tiny bit of um, roastedness there as well, you can um, taste as well. It's very, very well balanced. The more, uh, just a tiny, tiny little bit of um, alcohol content that you can actually taste, but bugger all, like some 10% beers and like the real high ABVs, um, you can definitely taste the alcohol. This, you really can't, unless you try very, very hard. Um, this is probably one of the better stats I've ever had. Oh, beautiful. We'll pour it in a glass for you. Nice dirty glass. It's pouring thick like engine oil at the moment. Just beautiful. Look at that. Not much of a head on it. But we're really not worried. We're not really worried about the head. Carbonation, it, that's, that's black as. Like black is the wild thing, which is a cat woman printed on the front of it. Um, beautiful smell bouncing straight out of the schooner glass right there. That's oh, it tastes better than what it smells, and it smells a bloody treat. I kid you not. That's um, that's straight up. That's a five. E easy, easy five. That's probably one of the better, um, better stouts I've ever had, and all the stouts I've tried. Um, that's by far like that's top shelf. That shit. Maybe that's probably why they only brew it one year. 
they some people might not like it might not be that cup of tea as they say it's not for everybody but it's straight down my my alley I'm putting it right up there even though it's, it's nothing like your um, founders uh, you know your oak barrel bourbon age stout um, because it obviously doesn't have it doesn't taste like bourbon it it's up at that level maybe even a bit past it like being a stout that's that's how good it is so that's a five out of well fucking that's a ten out of five five out of five whatever you want to call it if you're a black drinker you like a tiny bit of rumminess you like the bitter and you like a smooth dark chocolate as well to leave your palate this is obviously the flow I'm gonna let this warm up a bit it's, I mean it's probably served at five maybe six six degrees so it's not too it's not freezing cold um, perfect absolutely sensational you know I wouldn't mind I don't know how much I think this was like eight nine dollars like a bottle so I can imagine how much it is a carton um, but it's very very top shelf yeah we'll say well done to Murray Brewery um, yeah, I mean, yeah anyhow so if anyone's here in Australia definitely grab that you will not be disappointed well you might be but I'm, I'm not and that's all that matters so yeah people so we'll try I forget what the other ones are called I, there was some released out in June and this month July I'll just try to I'll try to grab them for you but I asked old mate at the shop and he said that was the best stout in Australia so no no right eh? so not the best stouts one of the best stouts in the world it's a big fucking call. I haven't tried all the best stouts in the world, but very, very nice. That's enough for me blubbering on like a, an idiot. I want to get down to drinking this. Just be kind to one another, and I'll catch us on the flip side tomorrow. I don't think I'll find another beer like this for quite a while, but I'll catch us tomorrow anyway with another beer. Take it easy, people.